Welcome back to the Inspire Composites YouTube channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys a side project that I did for a customer. And I think it was pretty cool. That's why I want to show you guys um, the results. I think you guys will like it too. What it is, is a customer came to me and he wanted a, a bezel plate for a gauge 3D printed. So I agreed, but somehow that evolved into making a full blown gauge from a Lambo and uh, I think this video demonstrates how great 3D printing is and what what kind of a luxury it is for a person that likes to design and create things and have that tool to be able to use it's a very powerful tool and uh, I think you guys will see how great 3D printing is so let me show you guys a project that I did this here is the original gauge and we're making a replica of this uh, gauge assembly and this is the gauge right here uh, that I modeled. The assembly is several parts. I will show you guys that right now. Uh, so this is the top piece. This is called the bezel piece. And that piece will actually screw onto this piece, which is the top plate for the housing. And as you can see, I've modeled in uh, screw holes and countersunk some screw holes. This piece will screw into the housing at these countersunk holes and these holes are for the bezel to screw onto the top plate. We can hide that. And then uh, these layers right here are lenses and between them an icon panel which is very thin. It will go between these two pieces and the top piece is a clear plexiglass and the bottom one is a tinted plexiglass. And this is the main housing that's going to hold everything together. We decided on a specific gauge to use, a speedometer gauge, and this housing is designed to accommodate that specific gauge. Also, uh, these holes here are designed to accept a certain light socket. So all we'll have to do is uh, put the socket in, turn it, and then it will lock itself into place. So these are the 3D printed parts. This was printed with a FDM machine. And with this housing, this gauge is going to fit in here. And it fits pretty good. It fits perfect. And then these light sockets will fit in here. So you turn it and then it locks into place. And then these two pieces here will fit into this recess area and then over all of that you have the the housing top plate that screws onto the housing and then this bezel piece screws onto that housing top plate so I'm gonna assemble this Bulbs are in. And then the gauge. We gotta feed this wire through the back. Very little play. It fits perfect. And then the wire in the back right there for the gauge. We can put our lenses on. We don't have the icon panel yet. And the icon panel will fit between both of these sheets. It's gonna stick on here, and then this is gonna be the top. These are the lenses that I just cut with the machine. And this side. And then we're just going to screw in these two. This fits beautiful. This one. So 
So that's the gauge with the housing plate on it. And then our last piece is this bezel piece. And because this is the outer piece and it has to look beautiful, we're using a flat cap head hex screw, which is this. To me, that looks a lot better than the Phillips head. Hey, dude. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we have the assembly of the gauge. It has some weight to it too. It's beautiful. And this is what the back of it looks like. We designed those holes to be able to set these light bulb sockets where we can just put it in and turn it to lock it into place. Real simple design. And then the last piece is this piece. And it doesn't fit that well right now because we got to sand some, some corners off, but that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to put some power to one of the sockets and see what it looks like when it lights up. All right, we got our DC power supply. We're going to hook it up. Let's turn this boy on. Okay, we'll do 12 volts. Twelve volts. That's it. That's all it can handle. So we're giving it twelve volts and three, three hundred milliamps, and it works fine. Once we have the icon layer uh, between those two lenses, we should be able to see an icon light up instead of just a bulb. So. That's the little project I did. I think it's pretty good. I wanted to show you guys how awesome 3D printing is. These three pieces that we have, we created a replica gauge that might have costed like two, three thousand dollars. And we did it for a fraction of that. And we can call it our own because we designed it, we made it. I hope you guys like this little project. Whenever I have small projects like this, I would like to show you guys, uh, just to show you that, yeah, you can make your own stuff if, if you learn the skills to do it. And if you have money, money is the biggest thing.